Hello and welcome to our introductory session about uh, MX Control Center, the Mobotics uh, video management software, which is a software that is uh, free and available to anybody using Mobotics camera systems. Uh, we will just go over the major areas of this software interface that you will be using on a daily basis. For more in-depth information, refer to the user manual to get uh, an in-depth uh, information and more nifty tools and tips to better utilize this software. So on the main window if you see on the left hand side pane this is where there is a window called the section called layouts and in this one essentially when you have multiple sites having cameras you can have them separated out by different Name. So in this case over here, they have it as wall mounted and different camera uh, positions and different camera uh, displays listed down here and so on and so forth. Like you could see a building mobile. So these could be essentially replaced by your own uh, specific camera site. So for example, if you have geographically diverse sites like some of them in San Diego County, some of them in Los Angeles County, then those can definitely be separated out and essentially makes it easier for you to view. These layouts are fairly very very flexible and they can be uh, changed as and when needed. And usually when we configure the system for you, all of this would be essentially set up and so you, what you will be seeing is these, but if you need them to be changed, they can easily be changed. The next section down here is the player section and that essentially is the video player and as you can see it has the standard video player button like play, go to the next frame and just fast forward and jump to the end. So once again just standard video player interface, nothing special about uh, any of these and they have kept it really simple so that way uh, you don't have to learn the user interface all over again. Then the the, bo the, bo the bottom one is the essentially the PTZ controls and this is where you will be able to pan, tilt and zoom into the actual recorded footage. And I'd like to stress a point over here that this control, MX control software is the only one that has the capability of taking recorded video and you would be able to actually zoom in and pan and tilt around in recorded video. All of the other camera systems which are more or less stationary or even the mechanically moving pan tilt and zoom cameras, you won't be able to go in and do this uh, really cool thing uh, without uh, the software. And even those cameras, once they have recorded the information, whatever they have recorded, that's all you see. You won't be able to ever go in and uh, look at that information uh, in a more granular fashion. So in this case, let me just change. And, and, and if you see on the right hand side, this is where the camera display would be. At the top here, you will see some buttons. And this one essentially would activate the layout manager where you will be able to activate and change the layouts. This one uh, would uh, give you the camera sequence so it can display the cameras one, two, three, and four as and when you need. This one would activate the player mode. So essentially, instead of viewing live cameras, you would actually go in and view the recordings. This one will open up a video search window and essentially that will help you uh, drill into the particular time slot that you would like to view the video from. This one shows the alarm list depending on how, how your system has been configured. If you have alarms, that, that view will essentially show you the list of alarms that you can acknowledge or you can delete. This one will essentially give you a grid layout. This button essentially will take an extra window and be, and take that camera as an extra window so that way you can move it around. Okay. This one like it is it is activated right now will activate the full image live view and this one will activate the image post processing. For further details on each of these functions you can always refer to the manual or give us a call and we'd be happy to guide you. This quick button will essentially save the current image that is being displayed on the software onto your desktop. This one will essentially print it for you. The icon that looks like a 
uh, a speaker essentially that's exactly what it does it will play the camera audio and this mic will enable you to uh, speak into the camera and that way it will be broadcast onto the uh, the camera uh, site this one essentially is for connecting and disconnecting any particular cameras this will take you to the camera configuration settings which we highly discourage that you get into uh, just leave it up to us and we will take care of it uh, this will actually open up a camera within a browser in case you need to uh, open up and change some settings and this one essentially uh, will change the user level so if you're logged in as an administrator and you want to log out or if you're logged in as a user and now you'd like to log on as an administrator you would be able to so that in a nutshell is this uh, the layout or the overview of this MX control software Spytech Security Solutions. We are the digital IP video surveillance experts located in San Diego, California, 7710 Balboa Avenue, San Diego, California, 92111. Our phone number is 760-740-9660. Visit us on our website, www.spytechsecurity.com. That's Sam Paul Yankee, Tango Echo King, security.com. Thank you.